going to be opening another pack of Theros Beyond Death. This one is also from the pre-release pack. Um, things are going on schedule. I should have received the uh, booster box and booster bundle today. So, I don't know. I may just go through the entire pre-release pack right now though just to get it out of the way and cataloged oh yeah Sentinel's Eyes. creature gets plus one plus one and has vigilance escape one mana and two cards from your graveyard uh, next we've got riptide which is 61 so 54 63, 62, 61. Riptide Turtle. Two mana. Flash Defender. Oh, it's a turtle. And it's zero 05. So it's basically a wall. I don't know what either Flash or Defender do. I should look those up. Anyways, um. As the storm waves crushed my sailors, I cried out to Thassa. The next time I saw them, hard shells encased them, and they were swam, swam away to safety. Or, and they swam away to safety. Siona, captain of the Pileus, Pileus. All right. Uh, Nixborn Marauder. Ooh, our first duplicate. I'm pretty sure. Uh, 109. Yep, Nixborn Marauder. So, three packs. Or we opened our third pack before we got our first duplicate card. Alright, uh, Chain to Memory. Um, uh, 46. to memory one mana target creature gets minus four minus zero until end of turn scry two those who do not learn from their mistakes are bound to relive them all right not bad uh Verica's liberation
three mana instant choose one target opponent sacrifices a creature or target opponent sacrifices an enchantment if you will not pour your drink out for me I shall pour mine out for you or Farika's Vibation all right 111 which goes right here Hyrax Tower Scout. Ooh, another shiny. Um, uh, 3 mana human scout when hyrax scout uh, tower scout enters the battlefield untap target creature and it's 3-3 three, three. the scouts of hyrax tower keep watch at the edge of setesan territory protecting the pulleys from inhuman monsters and enemy armies All right, uh, Wings of Hubris. All right, two mana equipment flying. Sacrifice wings of hubris. Equipped creature can't be blocked this turn. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Equip one mana. Galakos's invention worked until it didn't. Alright, so your creature has flying, but then you can, for one turn, make it unblockable. Uh, flicker of Fate. Ooh, our second duplicate, Thirst for Me. Alright, um, Flicker of Fate. Sixteen. Two mana, instant, exile target creature or enchantment, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. An infinite journey in an infinitesimal, infinitesimal, yeah, infinitesimal time. So basically, I guess if you're attacking, or if it's attacking or blocking, you can flicker it out of existence. So it, your opponent still has it, but it's no longer blocking or attacking. All right, thirst for meaning. Uh, thirst for meaning. Kraken. Oh, uncommon. Shoal Kraken. Uh, 65. 5 mana. Creature Kraken. Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. 3 5. 
It eats the things that eat the uh, it eats the things that eat the things that are drawn to the light. All right. All right. Scophos Maze Warden. Basically the uh, original Minotaur. With, uh, who was it? Jason and the Minotaur? I don't know. I'm not up on my Greek mythology at the moment. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, two, or one. Four mana, Minotaur Warrior, one mana, Scophos Maze Warden gets plus one, minus one until end of turn. Whenever another creature becomes the target of an, an ability of a land you control named Labyrinth of Scophos, you may have Scophos Maze Warden fight that creature. And it's three, four. Next up is Destiny Spinner, which is basically the fates from Greek mythology. Uh, somewhere around here. Destiny Spinner, uncommon, two mana. Uh, Creature and enchantment spells you control can't be countered. Oh, human. Creature and enchantment spells you control can't be countered. Three or four mana. Target land you control becomes an XX elemental creature with tramp one haste until end of turn. Where X is the number you control. It's still a land. This is a two three creature. 73, 72, 71, 0, 9, 8. All right. Then we've got the first Eroan games. For the rare. I feel like there's something. It Based on the card art, it may be pottery that has a very similar name. The first Ionian games or Noan games or something. Anyways, um, three mana. Uh, uh, one war, create a one one white human soldier creature token. Two or put three plus one plus one counters on target creature you control. Three or if you control a creature with power four or greater, draw two cards. And four or create a gold token. That is 170. Alright, so now we got a shiny soul guide lantern uncommon. Which is artifact. There's a very real chance that I, at the end of this, this will be the only copy of that card I have. Um, like that's kind of one of the things that I'm always worried about, and which I think would be weird somehow. To get a foil version of a card that I don't have a regular version of. All right, one mana artifact. When Soul Guide Lantern enters the battlefield, exile a target card from a graveyard. Tap and sacrifice Soul Guide Lantern. Exile each opponent's graveyard. One and tap, sacrifice Soul Guide Lantern. Draw a card. You can either draw a card or exile your opponent's graveyards. Yeah. Alright. 
a mountain. It should go there. Token is the Seder. Uh. <coughs> All right. So, um, Seder. This creature can't block. One one. All right. Um, so we managed to get our first two duplicate cards this pack. So. Going to be putting those into here, and we are going to be beginning our collection. All right, I've got to work on fixing up some of the uh, spreadsheet I'm using because it's not perfect to how I would like it. Zigzag, thank you for joining me. Bye.